Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I got a seriously good video for you today. I'm going to talk to you about one of the most important pottery manufacturers or designers in the last couple of hundred years and I'm going to show you some examples that I've just bought in at the shop. I'm going to show you some pieces, uh, show you what they're worth, show you how to identify them. So make sure you stay tuned right to the end guys. Okay, before I show you the items, I'm going to give you a little story on what happened. Gentleman come to see me this week and he says to me, I've got an old jug and basin, a uh, big thing like this, he said. How much will you give me? I said, I don't want it. I said, they're hard to sell. I said, they take up too much room. They're a nightmare to ship. I said, they only sell for 30, 40 quid for a 1930s jug and basin. And I said, I really don't want it. Anyway, he came back and back and forth on that, and I hadn't even seen this jug and basin, and you know, we ended up, we settled on a price, and then I got it home and looked at it, and it is by one of the best names in the business, literally. Now, I won't tell you who it's by just yet, I'm going to give you a little look at it, and then I'm going to show you. And then we're going to do some research and I'm going to show you how to identify his stuff and I'm going to show you what some of his stuff sells for and other examples of his work. Now this set dates to anything after 1873. Uh, so about 1873, 1880, somewhere around by there. And it is by a name called George Jones. Top, top name in the antiques world. He produces Majolica and if you look by here now I'm going to put two, I've got two videos already where I've had other pieces by uh, George Jones and they'll go in turn. First will be the uh, Majolica Kumasi candlestick figure and there's a link in the video uh, description for that, for that video if you want to see the whole video. And I also bought a massive uh, Majolica Jardinier stand or base. Uh, again, another video. Uh, showing you examples of it there and that link will be in the description also for you. Now, I'm not going to go into details on how much I've paid for it. It came in very cheap and I will be buying something else off the gentleman when he comes in for more money and I'll make it up to him. Um, but this piece here is in perfect condition. Lovely sound to it. And there is the mark on my piece. Now, as you can see, this is a substantial piece. The pattern is called Almonds. It's by George Jones. And you'll see there his JG monogram. The pattern name is Almonds. And you see where it's and Sons in the Crescent underneath. They added that in 1873. Now, I had a look online and there's an entire society dedicated to Majolica and things like that and they've got a massive page everything you want to know about George Jones again I've put that link for you in the descriptions because if you want to learn about George Jones then go and check out that and they'll tell you everything from when he was born right away through he started his apprenticeship in the 1840s with Wedgwood and Minton as a traveling salesman believe it or not weren't until 1860s he started becoming a producer himself in 1866 he started making his own majolica and that is what pulls the big big money today guys I've had a little sardine dish and I've had over a thousand pound for one sardine dish and I'm going to show you loads of examples on the computer in a minute of, the, of his work and the prices they pull including some of the prices of these stay tuned and I hope you enjoy what you see guys Okay, so we're going to start off with the Majolica International Society. This is a website I found online, and it is majolicasociety.com forward slash George Jones forward slash. And this has his entire history here 
on the uh, gentleman. He exhibited in Paris, Geneva, London, Vienna, not Geneva, rather Vienna. He even won medals um, in Paris and got mentioned in um, London exhibitions. Here's an example of some of his work coming up here now. And you can see Lords of Majolica. This here is the Kumasi range, very similar to the candlestick I, uh, I sold recently. And this one was sold for about £800 for that camel. So very rare stuff indeed, guys. I'm going to show you some prices on this now on eBay, sold prices and things. Just wanted to have a little look through some of the Majolica they got. And again, we'll look at the marks. They've got some of the marks on here. The JG in the monogram, the, the numbers next to the Victorian lozenge mark. So that's a good site. If anybody wants to know anything about George Jones Majolica, pay that a visit, guys. Then we come across here. I'm going to show you, first of all, my uh, jug and bowl pattern. Now, I can't find the jug and bowl. Well, I found the jug. But... Here's a terrine currently on eBay. We're talking a small terrine. Um, I don't know, about so big, whatever. You're not talking massive. And they're asking £500 for a single terrine. A set of six little plates, or there's nine inch plates, £217. Four George Jones Sons Almonds Birds, £150 for four tea plates. So. That's the almonds pattern that I've got. Uh, we're going to come across now, and we're going to have a look at some of the eBay prices, and then I'm going to show you just how expensive just the jug is without the bowl. So here we go, fourteen hundred pound for a vase, eight and a half inches tall. One thousand two hundred pound best offer received with a hundred and sixty-three pound postage for a, a cake platter. We don't want Indiana Jones. You know why that's in there. <laughs> Mind you, you've got to love a bit of Raiders of the Lost Ark, haven't you? Um, so then we come in, just some jugs and little plates and a basket, you know, £400. I wonder if I could find the sardine dish for you. The sardine dish is up stupid money. Right, so forget that a minute now. We'll come across to... No, done that. Right. While we're here, now I'm on the page... Just to give you an example why I didn't want the jug and basin before I saw it, this is the sort of thing most people bring into the shop. It's just a standard Staffordshire jug and basin, and that is exactly what they sell for, 20 quid. So I really didn't um, fancy having it. And there again, another even bigger one, £25 on eBay and £10 underneath that. That is why I didn't want it at first. Moving back on. There's my jug. I've done a Google search and I found the jug, guys. Just the jug. No um, bowl. And you ready for the price just on the jug? There you have it. $195 just for the jug and they are sold out. And we come across here at the marks. Now... Before we finish, I'm going to have a look quickly for the um, sardine dish. I want to show you that because it's literally got a sardine on the top of it. Now, you come across here. I don't know if you can see these. Hopefully, you can. You've got the JG and the Crescent and Sons af after it there. Um, the JG monogram there. Again, this raised relief one here. That is almost like piping, like you get on tube lining where you can actually feel it raised. That's quite a rare mark. You don't get that mark very often. Um, as you can see here, George Jones and Sons in text or script. Hopefully you've got that. No, bear with me. Sorry, guys. There you go. George Jones in script there and the JG monogram. But there are loads and loads of references to his marks. Some of them you don't get his mark. Uh, this one here, you've got the, the impressed seal. But some of them you just got the lozenge mark and the numbers in the wiped off patch. Um, just there, you can see where they've got a clean patch of majolica, just the porcelain bisque showing with the numbers and the lozenge mark. You don't always get the monogram. 
but his work is so well documented that they know the patterns anyway so you can always find it this one here doesn't have the monogram it's just got the lozenge mark and the numbers let me see if I can find a sardine dish George Ma. just quickly There we go. There's the sardine dish, guys. This sardine dish used to be at twelve, fourteen hundred pound for a sardine dish. Let's see how much it is now. Oh, it's on the society. Uh, we don't know. And then Pinterest, Pinterest. That might be all right. Let's have a look at this one. Anytime today. That one didn't work. Right, this is somebody selling one, I think. No. Anyway, guys, right, you can see basically what we're looking for. These sardine dishes are seriously big money. I think they've come down in, t in uh, recent times, and I think they're like three to five hundred pounds now for a sardine dish, where they used to be over a thousand. Um, but double check your prices, but this is a name you want to be looking for. What can I say guys? George Jones is one of those names you definitely don't want to leave behind at a car boot sale or an antique fair. I've bought George Jones Majolica over the last 10 or 15 years for £20 at an antique fair where they've just gone, oh yeah, 20 quid off house clearance boys. And I have done seriously, seriously well on it. I can tell you now, this jug and bowl here is going to be going up for between five to seven hundred pound on eBay. And I'll see what offers I get. And to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to take long to sell. I may even go in a bit higher with best offer and see what offers I get. Because there are none anyway. And this stuff is good enough to go in a museum. So, what can I say? George Jones, done some majolica, done some pottery, but I tell you what. It all pulls money, guys. Well, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed learning uh, a new name in the antiques world. Don't forget, guys, the two videos I've mentioned, the descriptions are in the, um, or the links rather, in the description. And so is that Majolica Society page so that you can go and read about George Jones or any of the other top Majolica, Majolica, Majolica factories. You know, Wedgwood, all of them, they're all going to be on there. I really hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something, guys. I'm going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed, I really would appreciate a like and a share. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. My seller ID is Antiques Arena Clearance. Uh, I, also, there's a link to that in the description. Um, you'll find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and visit me at my shop. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45. Three Hotel Bravo. Guys, it's been a pleasure.